Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special review. We got a new file from the Cow Vault. Yay! So, he sent me a file to print out and review of his Iron Man VR helmet that he's modeled himself. It is up on his Etsy shop now. I believe it's up on his Etsy shop now. For sale, the link will be down below in the description to that if you decide to check it out after this video. So, with this file, uh, you'll get it. It'll be scaled to fit you. That's very important for you to know. It will be scaled to proper size to fit a normal person head. And I say this because my big printer is not working at the moment. My big printer needs a replacement part. So I had to print this on my small printer. I printed it on my small printer and my thought was I could print it on my small printer and then I can put it on my baby, my son, my, my like two year old, because he, he loves this kind of stuff. Uh, I thought that'd be real cute, you know, a little baby with an Iron Man helmet, ooh. Um, something happened printing it in the last five hours while I was sleeping. Uh, so this is what it came out to be. Yay. <laughs> little squishy boy, little squish. Now if this was for Xenomorph, little baby Xeno, it'd be perfect. And, but I did print another one. I did print another one. So don't worry. I have a good one to review. Painted, sanded, relatively. Uh, it looks great. I will say uh, I had enough filament to do one helmet at toddler size. So uh, we, we get to review. We get to review. This little guy. Aww. Aww. Da -da -da. This little one right here, which, as you can see, looks much different from this. I would have loved to have been able to print it on my full scale printer and wore it and give you guys uh, an idea of how it would fit and how it would, uh, the visibility. But from what he's told me, it is scaled to the same size as the other Iron Man helmets he has. Uh, which he's printed a couple of his own, of his own models, um, and they fit fine. He says they fit perfectly. You can see through them perfectly. So, the same would be for this because he scales them the same way. But this is what we're gonna f review. This little one, and don't worry, you'll get a better view of this. I will be. <laughs> I'm not gonna just sit here and hold it the whole time. Uh, I will give you a close-up review of it because it is actually, like, I know it's hard to see on camera right now. Give it a second, I'll switch over to a better view of it. But it is actually a really, really nicely detailed helmet. Like, I'm very impressed. I cannot wait for my big printer to get fixed and get a, and for the filament that I've ordered to come in so that I can print this at the full size. I did not know I wanted an Iron Man helmet. Like, I, li I like Iron Man. Uh, I'm more of a Spider-Man fan. I like Iron Man and everything. I've never thought about printing an Iron Man helmet, and I did not know that I really wanted one until I got done printing this one, this little one. And now I'm over here like, I really want an Iron Man helmet. I really want a full-sized Iron Man helmet to have. Uh, so I'm probably gonna print it out again when, uh, in a couple weeks, when it's bigger, uh, when I get all the parts. But I didn't wanna wait that long to do the review and everything. So here we are. And without any further ado, now that all that's out of the way, let's get into the uh, the close-up. So, here we go. Alright, so as you can see, it's got really good detail in it with the mouthpiece, the jaws, the cheeks, everything like that. Excuse the sanding job, because it is a smaller print and I'm already not the best at sanding. Uh, I didn't want to risk cracking it because it's so small, but when it's full scale and everything, it would be much easier to sand and be much prettier. If you want to see what it would look like, fully sanded and everything, just go take a look at his Etsy shop, I think, or, or his Instagram page. He's got pictures and stuff up on all of his other Iron Man helmets, along with all of his other items. But as you can see from the front, it looks really nice. It's got all the little details, even the divot in the forehead there. If we turn it to the side, you can see it's got everything to where the ear would sit, 
Again, the nice shaped jawline right there. This is just a little support. I'm just using that to keep it standing up easier. The back of it has like the multiple layers for the armor, just like in the VR version. And then there's the other side. But yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks really nice and detailed. Let's give you one more closer up look. Ta -ta -ta. But yeah, everything looks great on this helmet. I really like it. Like I said, I want to get my uh, big printer fixed so that I can scale it up and have one to actually sand down all the way properly, make it nice and smooth, and to wear for myself or to just have sitting on a shelf. But yeah, this is a really nice helmet. Again, the link to his Etsy shop uh, will be down below in the description. If you don't know or if you're not subscribed to the Cow Vault as well, go give him a subscribe. Go subscribe to him. He has a lot of good videos up. But yeah, go check out his YouTube, go check out his Etsy. Um, if you're a Batman cosplayer, uh, he has a Facebook group called The Cowl Vault where we all are in and just discuss cosplays and sourcing parts and everything. So if you're interested in that, go give that a check, go check that out, go give that a follow and everything like that. But without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for stopping by, spending some time with me. I love this quality time we spend together. So, without any further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, please remember to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you can keep up to date with all my content. And if you want to see what I do outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at Cosplay. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.